right, this is how to do your first vision, um, first horrific vision. Today it's um, Orgamar, and uh, it's pretty easy as long as you have, you know, somewhere around 375, 400 gear, um, and you know what to do. And if you watch this video, you'll know what to do. So, um, this guy has 385 gear, just a hunter. Now, um, it's only three pulls to get in to uh, complete your first vision. The first pull is here on the left. You're going to focus on the shaman. And um, just make sure he doesn't cast his... Um, you know, his, what do you call it? Totem. That totem's a pain in the ass. Probably when you should step out of Blade Storm. These black circles will drop on the ground on some days. And you're gonna just, um, stand in them. Because they give you a little buff. Super easy. These guys um, crowd control them. Crowd control one of them. Um, these guys are a lot easier than the Alliance version. And just step behind them for break spirit. Don't let them hit you with break spirit. Interrupt the horrifying shout. and continue to try to stay in the circles. Get behind him for break spirit. Interrupt horrifying shout. Get behind him for break spirit. I still don't know what break spirit does, so. Don't ask me, I don't know how to play this game. So then run into, um, now you, this is a, a hunter, it's one of the strongest classes. So I could, did all three of those, um, I did all three of those pulls without popping an orb, but you may need to pop an orb um, after one or two of those pulls just to replenish your health and sanity. Um, and you're going to pop another orb just as you start this fight and you're going to fight in it because it's free healing. You can't pop it during combat, so you have to pop it before combat. And the only thing with Thrall you got to do is stay out of the seismic slam. I'm going to come back into here. And then he casts Surging Darkness, a... Um, a debuff w that um, puts either a circle on the ground um, in the middle of the room or on the ground around the edge of the room and it flips so it and then it flips it during the uh, fight so if it starts out in the in the outside of the room it'll flip to the middle of the room and vice versa Keep your pet healed. Dodge the seismic slams. Surging darkness, come near the boundary. Get ready to switch either inside or outside, depending on which, and then come back in. And your, your um, horrific vision is complete. There you go. That's a horrific vision. Uh, you're gonna get to collect a chest now, and that chest will have an upgrade for your cloak, and it will have a quest item that you use to turn in your horrific vision. All right, so it didn't have the upgrade for your cloak this time, because you get the upgrade for your cloak from turning in the quest item. 
So go talk to Raytheon. That corrupting core he gave you is a an upgrade for your cloak. My cloak right now is level three for whatever reason, but now it is level four, even though that was my first completed horrific vision. And you can see it was very easy to complete even at level three to six gear on a hunter. All right. Um, that wasn't exactly multiboxing, but you can multibox this. Um, I will do a multibox version um, later.